Why, hello there, YouTube, and welcome to a Who review. I am Davros, and I am a Whovian, and today I am reviewing Doctor Who, The Rebel Flesh, and The Almost People. So this is a serial from 2011, Series 6, the Doctor, Amy and Rory go to the 22nd century where they find this, like, sort of mining base where these people make doppelgangers of themselves, like clones, and they get them to do all their risky work, and they then start to develop a mind of their own, this, um, these doppelgangers, forged by the rebel flesh that's with it, and they gain, one of them gains self awareness and wants to take over and cause a revolution but the Doctor also gets a ganger of himself copied and he ends up helping them and um, the ganger Doctor um, you know, helps the gang out and then the uh, ganger who wants to, called is it Jennifer? Wants to um, you know you know, start a revolution, but all the other gangers don't want to do that, and she starts to go mad and insane, and even mutates into this big, hideous creature-like thing, and the Doctor has to stop him. Only for the Doctor to, you know, break the ice on Amy that she is, in fact, a doppelganger herself, a flesh avatar, and the real Amy is somewhere in the universe, leaving things open for another episode, for the next episode, which follows on. Okay, so enough on the story, let's get on to my likes and dislikes about this one. First of all, the likes. I like this one. I liked uh, Matt Smith as the Doctor. I also like the double performance he gave in this, playing the Doctor and the Flesh Doctor. They were all like crazy, you know, they like finished each other's sentences and yeah, there was even bits in there where the Doctor had a mind search, the Flesh Doctor had a mind surgeon quickly referenced all the other doctors, including saying, you're like a jelly baby, in the fourth doctor's voice, and then also saying, I reversed the polarity of the neutron flow, which was a reference from the third doctor. I also liked um, Arthur Darville and Karen Gillan in this. They were great, along with the supporting cast who played the mind workers, uh, with the, you know, gangers. The doppelgangers, um, I find, were a unique monster, we hadn't had anything like that before. And the evil a monstrous mutation, the ganger that takes her own mind up and wants to start a revolution. She's good and also a bit weird. Um, I also liked the story in this, the first half. Going into this new one, it was a two-parter. And then the second part was good and enjoyable. Uh, but this was a solid story and was quite a good filler and set things in motion for the mid-series finale A Good Man Goes to War, which we'll have to review next. Um, yeah, I also um, you know, enjoyed the score in this and the effects. They were good in a lot of things. Some of the effects good, some of the effects a bit you know, CGI cheese. But other than that, it was good effects. So... Yeah, this was a good story. My dislikes. Uh, well, there were some bits in there that were a bit boring, especially with the first part of the story. That was like a slow build. But the second part of the story, that was good. And, you know, a lot more happened in that. Uh, but, um, yeah, like I say, with it being a two-parter, they do a build-up to the conclusion of the episode before going to the second part. Uh, I also liked the ending of that episode, how it's, like I said, you know, how it continued into the mid-series finale. Uh, this is an okay story, um, you know, it's got some good writing in there. So anyway, my ratings. I'm giving the performances for this. Do you know what? The performances get a 10. Because uh, I think everyone did a great job in their acting. Especially Matt Smith playing two of, his, of the same character. Um, the effects for this, I will give it a... The effects, I'll give it a seven, and for the, um, for the, yeah, the visuals, and for the writing, I'll give that an eight. So, those are my scores for this two-part story. So, yeah, let me know down in the comments below. Have you seen this one? 
the rebel flesh and the almost people let me know all that down in the comments below and if you like this video be sure to give it a big thumbs up don't forget to share with your friends don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and to hit that notification bell all of my social media links are down below in the description so yeah i've been davros the Hoovian, and until next time run for your life yes